What is up YouTube? Game Triple Eight here, back again with a Trap Tricks match for my Trap Tricks in Depth series. Um, today I have a match against Skystreaker Ace Rose for you guys. Um, big ass score that he has, wow. Uh, <laughs> um, and this this match, if I remember correctly, was actually a doozy. Like, I really loved it. It was a bit of the longer side, but you're gonna see why. So, um, I'm gonna go over some plays and I hope you guys like this one. Once again, any comments, hit me up below. Um, anything that you guys tell me that I can do to make it better, it, it helps. Like, a, it's all learning experience. Uh, first of all, the hands. He decided to go first. Um, my hand is Purica, Impum, Holotea, Prosperity, and Ash. Definitely really good hands. I love hands like these. I have two hand traps. I have a couple of stock. Like I've, I have a monster, I have a Holotea, and I have Prosperity to get into pretty much anything that I want. Um, so good hands. I, li I like hands like this. It's not the best hand, but it's it, it would like it would get me there. Um, his ha hand, on the other hand, um, Runic Fountain, Sky Striker, Mecha, Shark Cannon, Engage, Rivalry, and Desires. Like, if I see this, like, when we open up, I probably would, like, eh, what's this? Ah! Um, I wouldn't love to, to play against this in a real match. Uh, it's, it would be horrendous. Um, but yeah, we're on Dueling Book, so let's go into it and see what he does. So, first things first, he's going to use Desires. And Desires is, of course, a good card to Ash. So I ash that, and then I see the engage, and I'm like, oh, engage. Um, so I let it go through, Horde Drones, Kagari. I don't want another engage, so I'm going to imp on that. And then he gets the Widow Anchor from his Shizuku. Now, the thing that I see here is a Shizuku. I know he has a Widow Anchor in hand, and two back row. Now, his back row here are Rivalry of the Warlords and a Shark Cannon. Both are alive, both are really problematic for me, because... Yeah, rivalry, I, I can only control one type of monster, so if I have a plant, I'm stuck into plant. If I have an insect, I'm stuck into insect. I'd rather be under there can be only one, a TC boo, uh, so I can alternate. Uh, but in any case, I can do some things, so yeah. Like, with TC boo at the very least, if um, if I have a Sera and I use a regular trap hole, not Holotea, I can uh, go into Mermelio, still pop stuff. So, yeah. Next play, I'm gonna go Garden. Um, and right here, he's going to go Rivalry. So I'm like, okay, uh, I'm kind of stuck into that Rivalry. Um, I'm gonna go with Prosperity. Oh, let's go a bit faster. Um, these are the six that I banish. Uh, Veiler, Mermelio, double Parallel Exceeds. Um, another Mermelio, so double Mermelio, and a Mantis. Um, I am stuck into Plants. Um, Mantis is an insect, Mermelio is an insect, Parallel Exceed is a Cybers, I, I, guess, I, I guess I have to take the Veiler, <laughs> um, and that's exactly what I do, I believe, so, yeah, uh, going for the long haul. Uh, I'm thinking myself, okay, at the very least, if he goes uh, next turn, she's going to Gagari again to get the engage. I can veil her that, I can bell that, I have options to negate the Gagari so he doesn't get his engage back. At this point, I'm still thinking this is Sky Striker. I haven't seen the runic part. If I would have seen the runic part, I would have probably put two and two together. See, this is stun. Um, the guy, his job is to make me deck out. He wants to let me deck out. So, yeah, let's see bit further. As I said, I am stuck in plants, so I can go into Sarah, I can set Holotea, and this is also a plant, so with Sarah I can still go Holotea and then special, sum special something from the deck, either a Dianea or a Pudica. Like, those are the only two plants. Like, I, I could run the other ones, but they are not that great this, this time around, so I'm gonna go Garden, uh, at the very least make sure that my Sarah cannot be destroyed by battle by one Shizuku. Uh, which is also important. Um, and here we are going to see that, hey, look, he draws a tip. <laughs> he wants to go battle phase at least, um, thinking that he might be able to out my Sarah, but because the garden, no dice for him. So, yeah, we have that. Uh, right now he's going to use Widow Anchor, uh, realizing that this 
didn't die. Um, and this is going to take my Sarah because of the mechanics of rivalry. It's actually going to send this to the graveyard. Sad for my Sarah. Um, yeah, that's game mechanics for you. The, the, the sadder thing for me is now that I don't have Holotea anymore uh, for my Sarah. And uh, with Valor and Bell alone, I don't have any monsters left. So yeah, he reveals he is on the Runic engine as well. So he goes Runic Fountain, uses a dip to search. Yeah, oh god. Um, he adds the spell and trap destruction. So I'm pretty sure that he isn't... I, I also have to banish one, I think. Uh, with the Spell and Trap Destruction, I'm sure he's not going to use the Fountain immediately to draw. Um, instead, he's going to target uh, my back row. And I'm really glad that Holotea can be chained, so um, I'm going to chain it, going to summon it. Um, I don't have to banish because it isn't destroyed. He's going to try and draw two cards with his Runic Fountain, but I have the Ghost Bell. So this is all nice and dandy. I still have the Veiler for in case he wants to go uh, Kagari again, but now that I see the Runic part, he might have only, like, it, it might have been a small engine for Sky Striker, and he, he probably saw a lot of it. He's probably playing Triple Engage, and then one of uh, Horde Drones, Widow Anchor, Shark Cannon, uh, like, the, the other ones that won or something. Um, and then only one of the links, probably, because he isn't going into anything else, and... Um, let's see what he banished. <laughs> uh, talents, engage, eagle booster, dip, destruction. Can oh my god, I, I don't even know if I saw that earlier on. And then his multi roll as well. Wow, yeah. Uh, next turn, uh, I draw the whole uh, the trap trick strap hole nightmare. He didn't go Kagari as well, so I'm like, okay, he's probably only on one each. Ah, uh, so yeah. I'm gonna go Sarah again, um, I just want to get this out of there. Um, I'm gonna try and end my main phase, I have a Tractor Trap of Nightmare, I have Holotea into Pudica as some form of disruption. He also used a Runic card, so which means that um, he can't go into his battle phase this turn, which is also important, um, and he just ends ends his turn. He can't do re he can't really do anything. He can't go into he can't do damage. Uh, he can't summon again the Diamond Tiger because it's another typing. Um, and going uh, like I like he can't even special summon something from my graveyard because of the shark cannon because I don't have machines. Um, the only thing that he could have done probably is just banish something. But what's like why? Uh, so he's gonna just gonna end phase. I'm gonna hold Thea. Oh, sorry guys, and uh, he uses the shark cannon to banish my target. So yeah, um, my turn. Gonna draw the veiler. Yeah, really annoying. Gonna like just goes back to him. Talents goes back to me. Um, he, he he probably could have gone into battle phase and do some do some damage. Like um, I'm only on four, five, six. There's seven spells in the grave, so I'm only at one hundred. If he really wanted, he could have done like 1500 each time. But I don't know why. He probably just wants to deck me out. Um, so yeah, he's even saying, I just want to stun people to death. So, yeah. Uh, he draws another again. And this is going to be a pattern with uh, 18 cards left in his deck. And let's see, he only banished one kin. He's actually going to draw some more of those. Right here, uh, draw the Grave Diggers. Uh, I, I don't feel like I'm pressured right now, because I, if I really want it, I can go uh, set the Veiler, and then banish the Veiler with the Garden uh, to summon something back, like another Sarah. Um, like, not that it would do anything, even. Um, but I don't feel pressured at the moment, so he's gonna go, he's gonna go Runic Slumber, he actually got another Runic. And the thing that it does is I'm going to banish three cards again. So he really wants to banish. And then there's a runic fountain. And this is problematic because now he has three runics. Like it was only a matter of time, right? So um, he's going to put those back. Let's see what he draws. And these are just... Wow. He draws a flashing fire. That's a good one. He draws engage, which is a good one. 
but I don't think he's going to use the desires. Uh, that's kind of problematic. So he's going to go engage, uh, adds the Widow Anchor, gets a draw card, uh, gets another Flashing Fire, and you might think this is just over for me. So same thing happens with the Widow Anchor. My Sarah is going to go to the graveyard, uh, but I'm not one to give up. <laughs> uh, he finally goes into the Bell phase for one, so now he skips it. <laughs> uh, I draw Bell. Uh, the Bell is actually nice because I can stop one Runic Fountain Dragon. So let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna set the Arachna Kampa. He's gonna go go into the battle phase, attack my Arachna Kampa. I survive because of the garden, and then he uses my the freezing curse to uh, negate its effect. Now the reason that he does that is because he just wants more draws, um, and he wants to mill my cards. He wants to banish them. Uh, he's using the Runic Fountain, and I'm thinking ah, it's only on one card. It's not really viable. Uh, I'm gonna keep my bell. He draws a Ken. So now he has Ken, Gen, and Gen. <laughs> Starting to, to fill up on those. Uh, I draw Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre, really good. He can't go into a um, fusion play to protect it. So there's always that. Just letting this stay on the field. He goes tip. Uh, sees a tip. I have to banish one. Uh, and then he goes Ruin Destruction, target my uh, Nightmare. So in total, I have to banish five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, right now, like I'm just, I'm just praying to see a Mermelio because if I see Mermelio, I have the out for the rivalry. Um, that's the thing that I want. I have, I need to out for the rivalry, and I'm, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up, even though he has six cards in his hands. He has a really strong uh, board presence at the moment. I'm not giving up. Right here, I'm going to bell the Runic Fountain um, because I, like, I didn't want to go so over yet. Um, sure, I would destroy the fountain, um, but that would make his next play go for a new fountain, use that, and then I have to bell that. Now his next play is going to be to play into more draws, and then I can go so it, and it's going to be gone then. So I'm going to actually, like in my head, I was going to get rid of more resources by belling first and then go so in the next turn. If that makes sense, it's it's it was a weird thing that was in my head, but like yeah, um, he actually finds a way to use the talents because of my bell. Um, he draws two. In the end phase, he has to discard some cards, so he discards the flashing fire, um, and then it goes back to me. Now he didn't use his tip yet. Um, he has one, two, three in the grave right now. Really important for him. And in my draw phase, he's gonna go tip. He's gonna search, I have to banish one again. I'm just hoping for a Mermelio draw. Like, I really need that. Banish the garden. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind the, the garden banish. Um, he's going to go Runic Fountain, I'm going to ghost over that. So, um, the Runic Slumber isn't going to really help. Um, it's only going to make me banish three more cards. Um, I'm really glad I didn't banish a second or a third Mermelio. Still have two in the deck, nine cards, come on. Just give it to me. I pass it to him. Uh, he's gonna go Runic Fountain again, I believe, or maybe next turn. Yeah, he drew another Gen. So, like a triple Gen, let's go. Uh, I draw Ghost Ogre, okay, that's good for another Runic Fountain, doesn't do anything else. Uh, he has seven cards right now, I have eight cards, so I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can even uh, outgrind him at this point. Uh, but then I see, like, he goes Runic Fountain again, he's gonna go. Uh, Freezing Curse is going to negate my effect of the Arachna Kampa again. Uh, like, doesn't even really matter. He just wants to banish cards from my deck. I banish three, and lucky me, and again, not a Mirmelio. I have five cards left, and as long as I have a Mirmelio, I am going to keep this game going, because that thing is my out. So, yeah, the Freezing Curses, he tries to Runic Fountain for three draws. Not going to happen. I have to go over the second one. Um, <laughs> I'm just even saying, like, no. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, both of, like his grave's just full with, with spells and the Kagari. Like the Kagari is just chilling there. Um, but this, like this, uh, finally I draw a Mermelio, so I'm happy. I'm gonna set my effect veiler. Uh, you can set on the rivalry. 
gonna banish it, gonna special summon another insect because my Trap Tricks Rackmacampa is an insect, Mirmelio is an insect, and finally I get rid of that rivalry. So he's going to chain his Flashing Fire uh, to destroy a special summon monster I control. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, so Mirmelio is banished, and funnily enough, he banishes two of my parallel exes. I do believe that it, at this point, I was play, I was testing with two parallel exes instead of three. Um, yeah, because the TC Boo was still in the main deck. So uh, I moved TC Boo to the side deck now um, for testing. Well, I, I, I'm testing a lot before Nationals, of course. So, yeah. Uh, but finally, the rivalry is gone. So I'm happy. That thing is gone. Fields additional normal summon. Dianea. Dianea FX Special Mermelio bag. I don't have a lot in my graveyard because of like everything is going on. Um, I can finally play. So Mermelio, mandatory effect. It doesn't do anything, of course. And now here I am. There are 17 spells in his graveyard, which means that even my Dianea is at zero attack. I just want to have control right now. So I'm going to go straight into an Adipus. If you see my graveyard, I have two traps, which means I can go Impum. Um... I can just like with the Impum, uh, I can destroy his Shizuku. It's not like he's playing a Sky Striker deck, so no uh, rain graveyard. This thing gets popped. Uh, 20, 2800 attack, and I'm going finally in for some damage. So, um, right here, and this is this is like already the crazy part. We it's only 15 minutes because we're passing the turn so fast. It, it looks like it's a crazy amount of turns already because I'm only at two cards in my deck. Um, but good enough for me, like, I'm doing 2800, and the only thing that can't happen right here is that he draws uh, a tip, uh, or no, the one that makes me banish two, which one is it? Uh, another flashing fire, so there are two flashing fires in his graveyard, uh, because this banishes three, so you can't use that. I don't think it, I think it works like that, so... I don't know. I really don't know. But uh, with two flashing fires in his graveyard, I was just hoping there was a third one in the banish zone, and um, there isn't. So he can actually he can actually top deck the flashing fire and deck me out. But I'm just hoping he doesn't. So um, I'm not giving up. I have one more turn, probably maybe two. I'm just gonna keep this Oedipus online. It, it's the one thing that I can do. He top decks a skill drain, a skill drain from all things, like. <laughs> That's just annoying. He sets again, uh, because of course this thing has 2,000 defense. Uh, but the nice thing about uh, Trap Tricks monsters, this thing is unaffected by Trap Effects, because it is Link Summoned. And so even if he flips up this skill drain, this thing is unaffected. I will stay at my 2,800 attack. Um, right here, I'm going to set my Veiler, I'm going to banish it, I'm going to summon Mirmelio. I'm going to try and attempt to pop his uh, spell or trap. And he flips skill drain. So at the very least, he's at 42. A new floodgate. Yeah. I'm gonna normal summon my Mirmelio. I don't care if it's negated. I'm gonna attack with this Mirmelio. It's at 2600. And you're going to see right here, he's gonna say big booty and he's gonna be happy about it. But I get a thousand more attack, so I have a bigger attack value than his defense. And yeah. And this is where I win, because 26 and 28 outweighs his 42. And I have one card left in the deck, and I am happy. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that first game was actually immense. It was it was really, really rough. Uh, he probably would have, like, could he have won if he just went to attack, like, to attack with Dianea? Uh, what was it? No, uh, with a sh uh, the, the blue Sky Striker. I forgot what it's called. Not Kagari, the other one. Shizuku. If he just attacked a couple of times with Shizuku, he might have won that one. I don't know. There were enough turns, but he also used Runix every other turn, so uh, it's definitely something difficult. He's gonna go first again, and this time his hand is a little bit better. He has the Ken. Uh, Ken summons Gen, and then I have to discard a card. And then he still has, like, two Runix. He has a Solemn, he has Tactics. And because he has the tactics when I use Gen, he gets two more draws, and this is just this is just going like really bad. Um, he like as you can see, like with this with the Hugin, um, he actually gets to go into Azalea, 
they summon summon this thing, the Shizuku, and now he gets to search for an engage. He has judgments on judgments on freezing curse. Um, you're just gonna see like a judgment on Sarah just hurts. Um, so yeah. SP main, I'm gonna normal summon my Dianea. He's just gonna say no already, so I don't get my normal summon. Um, not having a normal summon is really huge in this. Uh, he, it, get, it gets him to another turn, and I see the like I know he has the engage. Um, I'm thinking, okay, make, maybe I can live like one more turn um, and try Dianea again. He goes engage again. Uh, it's getting really annoying. He already has that five cards. Then he goes desires. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, this is just going wrong in all sort of directions. Um, so yeah, as you can see, he sets four. Um, I have to I have to banish some cards, so I have to put my my top deck back, uh, banish three more, draw another card, and I'm thinking, okay, with the Dianea, with the parallel XC that I have, I can at least do some plays. Now, sadly, keep in mind, at this point, I'm playing two parallel XCs in the main, and I drew them both, which is which is terrible. But the normal summon of Dianea can actually summon back Mirmelio. I can drop a card from them, and then we can go on, and I can actually play through this if I want to. But then he reveals second judgment, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> stop that, no, uh, yeah, um, I can't play at this point, and we're gonna see this really fast, he's going to pop my card, um, that, that's actually good for me, because now I can go, like, it was in the end phase, so, because it's in the end phase, I don't really have protection, uh, for it, but, in my turn, I could go Holtea into Mermelio now, make Sarah go Parallel Exceed and play from there. Uh, but you're going to see, like, he has Freezing Curses, he has Widow Anchor, Slumber, Eagle Booster, and he's going to, like, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. Mermelio, I'm going to try and out to Runic Fountain, uh, but he has the Negate, and then yeah, it's just over. It, it, it's done. So, game three, and we're going to see the opening hands. I open up with Garden. Super Poly, Mantis, Ghost Bell, and Infinite Impermanence. Now, you might think, why the Super Polymerization right here? He doesn't play any monsters at all. Um, it's for my own monsters. I've seen him play Skill Drain, which is really important. If he has Skill Drain, I can use Holotea in the graveyard, bring back Mirmelio, trigger the effect, change Super Polymerization, fuse it with something else, into my Garura, and then the Mermelio will resolve in the graveyard because it's not in the field anymore, popping the Skill Drain. So, um, in this matchup, the Skill Drain is more of a anti, like an anti Skill Drain card. It's, it's something to avoid his Runic cards, to like stuff like that. And that's why I played the Skill Drain. Um, it's not the best option, but it was another option that I had, so uh, I just went for it. Um, oh yeah, and then um, the rest from my hand, Mantis, Bell, Impum, Addish, like, I, I like it, I have the Impum for the Kagari, for Gen or Ken, I have Bell for the Runic Fountain, which are all good options, and I have Field plus Mantis as a starter, so that's also really good, that's the, if, if you're unopposed of hand traps, Field plus Mantis is the best combination of cards that you want. His hand, on the other hand, is Widow Anchor, he has a multi-roll, he has Slumber, he has Lava Golem and Triple Tactics Trust. And that is strong. Lava Golem is really good against Trap Tricks. Um, and he doesn't normal summon it that much, so uh, that, uh, you have to give him that. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this play. I'm gonna go Mantis, um, Sarah, Mermelio Effect, get the Nightmare, uh, use Sarah. Like, for this instance, I go into Nightmare instead of Grave Digger Shuffle because he doesn't use his Grave or Hand effects. Like, he doesn't have anything that triggers there. Um, I, I notice in game one and two, he, he, he really doesn't use it. And the only thing that he uses is uh, Kagari, it's uh, Shizuku, stuff like that. So I want to stop that possibly, so I went for the Nightmare. And then I have my Impum to stop Ken and Ken. That, that's basically the thing I want to go for. Um, Holotea from the Serra, use it for the Trapple Nightmare, get Dianea, uh, get back the Trap to Trapple Nightmare, overlay into Pinguicola. Now I went to Pinguicola for the Arachno Campa because I want to protect my spells and traps for the Runics. Um, so there's always that. And of course, like, it's all, always really good like to do this. Um, Ptolemaeus. 
I've seen a guy use engage, I've seen him use desires, I've seen him use talents. If I have a Durandal, I can stop most of the things um, that I want to stop, so there's always that. Uh, so I, I, I just decided to go into it. Uh, Rekla Kempa, special, go to Sarah, set, two, uh, set three back row, I believe. I, or only two even, like, yeah, only two. I, I kept a super poly. Um, right here, I think I should have set a super poly and maybe kept the trap trap on nightmare. So yeah, maybe I should have done that way. But yeah, okay, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use my Ptolemaeus, put it under it. And you're going to see I'm going to use my Ptolemaeus already. He's going to say it's okay because he doesn't mind it. I, he has a lava golem um, and he has a thrust. <laughs> uh, really good cars. All of them. Uh, so he goes Lava Golem, tributes the Serra, tributes the Durandal, and because he has a thrust, that's actually really good. And he goes Engage. Um, the reason for the Engage is simple. He has a lot of Runics as well, and the Runics will set up his uh, his graveyard for Engage. That's that's really annoying. Uh, right here he goes um, Yugen because he wants to be able to search the fountain, because he has the freezing curses. Um, I don't know if he should have used multi-roll first, so I can't respond to spells and traps, but I can definitely respond to the Yugen, and I am going to do that. So he's going to detach the multi-roll, I'm going to imperm that. Um, that's a really good option for me. He has three spells in his graveyard now, 40 engage. Uh, yeah, really lovely. So he goes Hornet Drones, uh, gets another draw. That draw is the Ken. Uh, now he can't normal summon this because he used Lava Golem, so that's at least that, at least that. Um, Order Drones, special. Uh, and right here I decide, okay, I go Holotea and I want to summon back my Beauty... Uh, is it a Beauty Cat? No, I want to summon back the Serra. Because if I go Serra and he uses um, anything to summon a Link 2, I can go Trapper Trample Nightmare, destroy that, and then I get to Special Summon further. Uh, he saw that coming somehow. Um, he didn't have anything to play along with the Widow Anchor or the Freezing Curses. And he just scooped it up. Um, yeah, that was actually the game. I, I, I was hoping to actually finish this because it's a slower type of game. But I guess he didn't see a win, con a win condition. Uh, so yeah, that was actually the game already. Hope you guys liked it, and see you guys in the next one. Ciao!